This is the Oxford English Dictionary, which is available through the library's website, through our uh, database list. And once you enter in your Lincoln Land ID and password, you'll have access to this resource off campus. What is nice about the Oxford English Dictionary, it is the largest collection of definitions compiled of the English speaking world. So it's been compiled over uh, decades, really, and is constantly updated, kept fresh. And what is really special about it, it is not just a list of definitions, as you might get when you search Google for a defi definition, or you look at Webster's Dictionary, something like that. What is special about the Oxford English Dictionary is that it provides context for those words. What I mean by that is it will provide quotes from various published works throughout history, including their earliest known usage of a word, and then how that word has been used over time, uh, depending on the particular definition you look at. Okay, so if we want to go in here, let's look at the dictionary for a word like bacon. That sounds pretty good. Um, what you'll see is you have three different variations of the word bacon. And by variations, I mean one's a noun, uh, one's a verb, and one's a transitive verb. So you kind of have to think about, okay, which one am I really thinking of? I'm sort of really thinking more of the noun. And it looks like it sort of began circa 1330. That was one of the first instances. Um, that is the first instance that could be found by the people at the Oxford English Dictionary. And they have a whole crew of people that worked on compiling references. Uh, they went to libraries or read, read all sorts of uh, books looking for the first inst instance of a word. So let's go ahead and look at the noun for bacon. And what you'll see is that they have over here to the left, they have some content. So they have different definitions. So you have the first one is the back and sides of, of the pig cured by salting and drying, carcass of a pig, uh, rarely a live pig, sort of obsolete. And they have these different definitions. You can select on those and it will take you down to the relevant definition that is listed here. So to save one's bacon is a phrase. Um, and that looks like it had its origin around 1654 uh, by T. Ireland in this particular work. You can show more quotations and it'll show how it's been used over time. Okay. If we look at the top one, this backside of uh, back and sides of the pig, etc., cetera, we can show more quotations. It will show you again, all the different versions and it goes back to 1330. You'll see that Geoffrey Chaucer and the wife of Bath prologue used it. The bacon was not fit for him. Um, so that's how it was used in that particular context. What they've changed in their layout recently is that they have a lot of different tabs across sort of the near the top. One is the etymology, which is sort of uh, describes where the word came from, like which language originated that word. In this case, it was uh, French. It was sort of old French and provincial and medieval Latin. They give you different versions of uh, or different ways that that word came to be in different languages. They has also have a pronunciation, which is nice. So you can hear how the word is supposed to sound. They also have different versions of uh, sort of uh, things. You can look at how the, the vowels are said. Um, so if you really need a key for that, you can look at that. You also have forms, which is how it's been spelled in different uh, versions of English. So Middle English, in the 1500s, etc. And then frequency is really interesting. This is a new sort of data set that shows how the word has been used over time um, between one and 10 times per million words in modern written English. So they look at all the material they have found so far and how often has that word been used per million words. And then what's really interesting is this compounds and der derived words. This shows you all the different uh, kind of derivatives of a word. They're sorted by oldest first. So if you want to talk about, you know, what does uh, bacon faced mean? Well, it's, you know, sort of having a, a fat, sleek face. It's around 1640. And so you can go actually click on that and look into, uh, there's another bacon face from 1684. Um, bacon eyes is a fun verb. So to make into bacon, to smoke, literal and figuratively. So let's take a look at bacon eyes. You can kind of explore around and have fun with these words. Um, so you can see that, you know, the, the pigs were baconized. It's a, made into a verb rather than a noun. And it's just sort of a fun way to, to play with language. 
That is the Oxford English Dictionary. Again, it's special because it provides the context of those quotes, which is something that other dictionaries do not do. They just simply define it. And oftentimes when we hear words, it's helpful to know, well, how would that be used in a sentence? And this dictionary allows us to have that opportunity.